what's going on everybody so the official release for nothing os 3.0 is finally out for the nothing phone 2 and phone 2a let's talk about everything that's new So I was on the beta version, but I was still able to get the OTA update and transfer it to the stable build from there. So throughout the beta version, Nothing OS had removed the end dot font from specific places and that really aggravated the Nothing fans. But thankfully, they put that back in the settings menu and the lock screen. For the settings, it's part of an experimental feature that you just have to click that option. And we have an end dot font that's part of the different clock options as well. So on the 3.0 update, we have different lock screen customizations, giving us options to change the clock to several different clock styles. We can also remove the clock altogether so that we can get expanded lock screen widgets. We now have the ability to customize each toggle in the quick settings, giving you the ability to change the size and the location of each tile. The background of the notification shade is now white when in light mode and dark gray when in dark mode. In dark mode, it's still not AMOLED black. I'm not sure why they're not changing that, but but anyways, I'm sad. In the app launcher, we have some more customizations. So now we can pin apps that we frequently use to the top of the app launcher. And we have a new style called Smart Drawer. With Smart Drawer, AI is used to put your apps into automatic categories. This is very similar to iOS 18, which we don't like and we won't use, but it's still good to have that option. We get new floating apps interactions for better multitasking. You just need to swipe the app to the top of the screen to get the new floating app, which is very smart. Smooth. You can resize the window and position it wherever you want on the screen and you can even hide it to the side and bring it back giving you the ultimate multitasking experience. So we now have a new animation for when you're putting in your fingerprint and when charging the device we have this new dot matrix wave animation which is pretty nice. Nothing has came out with a new gallery application but it wasn't added to this official release but there still is an APK out there and that link will be down below for you to download. So with this app, we get that great nothing design language, which we all crave for. The app looks great and it's ultra smooth. And we now get AI background cutouts so that we can create stickers with any photo that we choose. So nothing has introduced community widgets, which is widgets made by us, the community. The first one is this snake game, which is a very cool dot matrix themed snake game that you can put right on your home screen as a widget. I believe this is just the first of many community widgets to come. And Nothing OS has also introduced shared widgets where we can share our widgets from our home screen with our friends that have a Nothing OS device. The first shared widget is a photos widget, which is still in beta. So we will still need to use the squared photos widget to see the shared option. From there, we just need to sign in and then we can share our photos widgets with our friend. And we can even react and comment on these photos using some cool emojis. So those are the important changes that we get with Nothing OS 3.0. If you like that dot metrics theme and want that theme on some of your system apps, I created a video of some apps that give you just that. So check that out. The link will be down below. All right. I'll talk to y'all next time.